okay welcome back guys so in this question we need to replace the loading by an equivalent resulting force and couple moment acting at point a uh, so let's start with the free body diagram and see how this load is affecting this beam so we have this rectangle on the left side of this beam and we have a right triangle on the right side so uh first we have to figure out where each of these forces are applying so for the rectangle on the left side we know the center would be exactly in the center of this rectangle which is half of three which is 1.5 and this part would be 1.52 and if we want to find the force we'll have simply 400 times uh, the base which is three so we'll have 1200 newton for that force for the right triangle on the right side uh, we will have the centroid number uh, that I'm showing in here and we know this distance is one third of the base which is three so that would be three and the other part is uh, two meter and if you want to find the force we'll have half of 400 times three as one of the forces uh, so half of that and that would be 60 600 newton and that's pretty much all the forces that we have and if we want to find the fr or the resultant of all of these forces we have some of all forces in y direction since all the forces are in y direction so for that we simply have uh the 1200 force and the 600 force and since they are downward it will be negative and we'll have minus 1800 newton force or we will have our fr 1.8 kilonewton and the direction will be downward so we found the first part the result in the force and we need to find a couple moment too to cover this question so for a moment uh since we are uh trying to find a moment about point a so we'll have some of all moments about point a we call counterclockwise positive and for this we have uh everything to go uh so we're going to use the 2d shortcut again for this uh question to find a moment i'm going to put the link uh in the description for the 2d shortcut that we have for finding the moment and in here let's start with the 1200 force since the moment is clockwise we'll have a negative moment of 1200 and the distance will be simply will be found the distance from point a which is where the force is applying and that would be distance that we have on the half of the rectangle i'm gonna show it in red the distance so it will be this distance i'm showing in red and will be 1.5 so that would be the first one and the second force would be the 600 force that we have and again since the moment is counterclockwise we put a negative sign in here and the distance here i'm gonna show this time the distance with green and it would be the distance from here to here which will be three plus one and that would be four and that would be pretty much all the moments that we have. And if we calculate this, we get 4,200 Newton meter. We need to replace the loading by a single resultant force and specify its location on the beam measured from point A. So what the question is asking is at the end, we need to find uh, one single force, uh, let's call it FR. And if we have our point A in here, we need to find this distance, which would be equal to our system in here, uh, which we have this rectangle on the left side, followed by this uh, right triangle on the right. So we know that for the rectangle, we have the force of 400 times 3 which will be 1200 newton here and if we want to find these distances again we'll have 1.5 in here same 1.5 in here and for the triangle we'll have the force in here and if we want to find this distance we'd have one third of three and this will be uh three minus one so this will be two and if we want to find the force we have half of 400 times three which is the base of this uh, right triangle and this will be 600. so if we want to find the resultant force which we called it fr we have the sum of all forces in y direction and for that we have minus 1200 minus 600 which will be minus 1800 newton and for finding the moment 
of force R at that point A, we call counterclockwise positive. We have the moment of these two forces, uh, which we have minus 1200 since it's uh, clockwise, the distance will be 1.5 as we covered in the previous question. And here we have minus uh, 600. The distance this time will be 3 plus 1, which is 4. And that's pretty much all we have. And this has to be equal to minus 1800, which was our FR times D. And from here, we can find our D, which will be 2.33 meter. So this will show that the forces are applying in the distance of 2.33 from point A.